Hi everyone. So yeah, I'm Fred, and I'm only doing this because some guy that goes to a school that I used to go to like four or five years ago, yeah, he keeps telling me all these stories that he hears about me five years after I leave, and he's not telling me what it is. So, yeah, tell me. You're on the international live wire. Probably everyone already sees your videos. Barely anyone's going to see mine, but oh well. It's the fact that you're going to see it. So that's fine. But of course, if other people see them to watch it, and since I'm already doing this, and this is going to be my first video web blog, and uh, I'm talking to you right now on my other computer, so you'll be happy to see this, and probably will be yelling at me, and laughing at me, and taking the piss out of me for the, like, the next uh, week. Yeah. Oh well. But yes. You're getting a piano for your Christmas. Nice. Anyways, so, after I went to Australia, which I'm at now, I live in Melbourne, and really close to Frankston, it's like the bum of Melbourne, and everyone's like, how can you be queer in this part of Australia, blah, 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 you're gonna be bashed and everything, all the gay bashing, and all the, hey mate, what are you doing, why are you gay, blah, blah, blah. And of course, no, I don't really care. Everyone knows that I'm queer. They're all fine with it. I'm friends with most of the people who are druggies and the people that are there at 3 o'clock in the morning trying to bash people. But the only thing is, once you say that, oh, let's go grab a pint of beer, and then they're all really like, oh, come with me to the bar. That's great. So it's all about how you talk. If else, mm, I guess you could be bashed, but I don't get bashed. I don't get stabbed. I stay there until 3, 4 in the morning, and nothing happens to me. That's fine. After I came to school and I told everyone about me being gay, this is the school in Australia, everyone seemed to ask me, how come you don't have a gay lisp? Not every single gay guy will have a lisp. Oh my god, like, uh, I don't understand you. Yeah, I can't even do the lisp at all. I am the worst drama freak ever. This is the first time that I'm going to be on the spotlight. Probably the last time, unless he makes me do another one. But yes. Then there's a whole thing about being a fairy. People keep asking me about whether I'm going to become a fairy, the whole... I'll smile and act like a girl. I... <sighs> yeah, I can't do that. I like guns. I like cars. I like things with adrenaline. I like doing weird things. I have an addiction to piercings. Nothing below the waist. But still, an addiction to piercings. I've got one tattoo which says coexist. It's right there. It's probably backwards on your screen, but yes. Then gay dissing. Uh, if it's between a close group of friends that you know about everyone's sexuality for sure, then yes, go ahead. Say the whole, oh, that's gay, this is gay. But make sure that you're not offending anyone, because if someone is gay in that community that you're friends with, that you might not know about, and you say all that, he will have a harder time to come out, which would be better if you actually do tell everyone that not to say that people are gay or that you're a fag or... Yeah. And then, there's the Asian stereotype of all these little Asian boys or up to the age of 22 where all Asians seem to look younger than they actually are. We all seem to want sugar daddies. Yeah. No. I don't want a sugar daddy. My friends don't want sugar daddies. Just because we're young does not mean that we want some old fart coming talking to us, asking us whether we want to go to bed with them so that we can have money from them and have their... Yeah, censored. Anyways. Then there's, of course, the coming out thing. Yes, I did come out to my parents, but that was after I came out to my best friend. Then to Patrick Gubby, who, of course, told his friends, which were all the footy boys and all the calendar boys, which then led on to everyone in SAS. And now, five years from now, people still talk about me, which I am really amazed at. I am very happy about it, but... Of course, it gets a bit weird when people seem to know my name and I don't know them 
or I do and I have a really bad memory. Then in Australia, I've been there for two years and people in years below me that I have never met before scream out, oh my god, that's the Gaijin, that's the Gaijin. Oh my god, do you know him? Hi Fred, hi Fred. I'm like, wow, I don't know you. Do I know you? I'm not very sure whether I know you, but I can't do anything about it. I seem to have become the gay guy of TPS, the Peninsula School, a boarding school slash day school. So it's like SES with a boarding house on the side. Yeah, I live in school 24-7. It's depressing. But, after I came out to all those people, then I came out to my parents. This was in 2000 and... Ooh. 2005? Or 6? After I broke up with... No. Not after I broke up. When I was with my first guy. JK. Some of you might know him. Some might not. I went out with him. And then... Both of us decided to open up to our parents. He opened up to his, his parents came with opening arms, but thing is, he is a sort of ABC, because his parents are very westernized, so they were understanding. My parents, on the other hand, that came up at a very different timing. It was more of the fact that we were arguing, and then I decided that, oh, let's press a button. And I pressed the button. Because my dad strangled me against the door and my mom dug her nails into my arm. Wow. But I don't mind because now I'm fine with it. They still don't really regard me as gay. They still say, why are you being so gay? You're not gay. You're straight. You're just going through a phase. Some parents still think that. But, yeah. Not all coming out is great. But... The fact is, after you do come out, you have so much weight lifted off your shoulders. It doesn't really matter whether something happens or not. Your parents, they will always love you. They always do. They will keep saying something, but they still love you. They will definitely find a way to get used to it. Just give them time. It's all about time. Essence is the time. We all care about the time. Am I emphasizing time enough? Anyways, so that's the longest, first, and most awkward, amazingly calming, first YouTube video blog that I've ever done. So, yeah, you, the one who's watching, congrats. See ya.